Hey everyone, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria, and today I'm here to talk to you about the ketogenic diet and why it's the biggest scam in the diet industry. So if your goal is optimal health and long-term sustainable weight loss, a fit lean body, then the ketogenic diet is one that you'll want to avoid, and I'm going to explain why. So when I was in my training to get my master's of science in nutrition, we actually had an entire course subject dedicated to the ketogenic diet because this diet has been around since the 60s, I believe, 60s or 70s when Dr. Atkins developed the ketogenic diet for weight loss purposes for his patients. So it, it has the illusion of being something really magical and um, giving you that quick fix weight loss you're looking for because initially the keto diet does generate weight loss. About 10 to 15 pounds of weight loss on the scales in about 30 days. Now, this might sound great and you know what you're looking for, but let me tell you, it comes at a price. So ketosis is act what the ketogenic diet is based on, is a physiological process that gets triggered when we don't have enough carbohydrate in our diet. So it happens if you're following the ketogenic diet, which is an, a low carb animal protein based diet, or if you're starving and you don't have access to enough food. So our body triggers this process in order to keep us alive. We start generating what's known as ketone bodies in order to create glucose from non-carbohydrate substrates, fat and protein. So these ketones actually are pretty toxic and need to be get <laughs> they need to be eliminated from the body very rapidly in order to prevent damage, particularly to our kidneys. So what our body does in order to protect itself uh, from these ketone bodies is it dehydrates the system. So it uses the water that's stored within the tissues and cells to dilute these ketone bodies in order to excrete them through our urine, and that's where the weight loss comes into effect. You're also going to see weight loss from calorie restriction uh, because this diet is not only based on carbohydrate restriction but it's based on calorie restriction as well. So long-term issues that can occur with a ketogenic diet include heart disease, kidney failure, liver disease, cancer, um, diabetes. Diabetes particularly because the diet is high in fat and protein which clogs up the insulin receptor sites making it very hard to get sugar out of the blood and into the cells. Um, contrary to popular belief, uh, sugar does not cause diabetes. Carbohydrate does not cause diabetes or insulin resistance. It's fat in the bloodstream, within the tissues, clogging up the cells and blocking insulin's ability to work properly. Um, studies, particularly the Walter Kempner uh, rice diet um, showed that the more carbohydrate and the less fat and protein in the diet, the more insulin sensitive that person becomes and the less insulin resistance they have. And the opposite is true of a diet high in fat and protein. But it creates, the ketogenic diet creates this illusion of um, creating a normal blood sugar by just getting rid of the carbohydrate in the diet. So but it doesn't address the actual problem. A lot of people that go on diabetes diets where the carbohydrate con content is controlled and the fat and protein content is not, will remain with diabetes for the rest of their lives and have to go on insulin. So that is something very important to keep in mind that this diet is dangerous. It creates health issues. Um, heart disease can occur from the amount of saturated animal fat in the diet cancer from the amount of animal protein that triggers IGF-1 or insulin growth like factor 1 which produces tumors inside the human body. Um, I will leave some links to some really good um, descriptive scientific research uh, where I've gotten a lot of my information from in the description box below. So uh, this whole ketogenic diet, why are people doing it? It's because of the quick fix that you know, that is sold 
through mass media. I mean, carbs are shamed and protein and fat is, you know, glorified, at least in the United States and in other westernized countries. But if you want the best health of your life, if you want to be able to get lean and stay lean for life, have amazing levels of fitness, you really got to throw out the ketogenic diet and adopt a high carb, low fat, plant based vegan diet. Now, if you are coming to a high carb, low fat, plant based vegan diet from the ketogenic diet, you can expect to gain all the weight you lost following the ketogenic diet. And this also goes for people who intermittent fast or restrict their calories in any kind of a way, plus more weight. Um, you can put a cap on that weight by being really strict with your fat intake, keeping it really low, and also doing a sufficient amount of exercise every day, you know, 30 to 60 minutes, and then pushing it once a week. But it also depends on where your fitness level is at currently. So if you would like any more information about this topic, if you have any questions, you can always join my coaching group too if you want some one-on-one -on -one help in kind of a group but private format. Please uh, check out my link for my coaching in the description box. Um, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Don't do the ketogenic diet. It destroys your health and causes weight gain long term and um, is completely unsustainable, not only for our body, but for the environment. Imagine if every single person in the world was eating meat, sufficient calories from meat three times a day we'd have a major environmental crisis, and we already do um, with the source usage that comes from uh, animal agricultural industry, causing a lot of uh, environmental destruction, like the fires you're seeing in Australia and the fires that were in California. They're related because the animal agricultural industry needs water, sufficient amounts of water in order to keep these animals alive and grow their food and everything. And it also, they tear down rainforest in the process to make room for these grazing animals. I've seen cows grazing naturally in Arizona and you know, they, they have tons of land for like not even that many cows and it's kind of insane you know, how, how much we are neglecting the environment in order to make room for these animals when people shouldn't even be eating them in the first place because it causes human disease. Chronic disease in humans is directly correlated to um, global warming in the sense that um, we are creating environmental issues and chronic disease within our bodies consuming animal products. So please just stop. Stop doing the ketogenic diet. Stop eating animal products for the sake of your health, your children's health, the planet, and the sake of the animals. All right, that's it for this video. See you guys next time. Bye.